Hello friends. In this lecture, we are going to learn about Active Directory Domain Services. So I'll explain you what uh, is Active Directory Domain Services, why Active Directory is required, and also we will do some practical like I will create a domain, a DNS, a child domain, a tree domain, and we will create a trust between two forests. Also, we will understand the structure of forest and domain. And finally, we will discuss about the FSM rules. So uh, let's get started with the work group environment. In a work group environment, if you have a work group environment, that means every machine has its own database of users and groups. That means uh, every computer has its own administrator account. Like if you have a five to six computer, that means you have a six administrator account on those computer and they can manage those computer. And if you have a large group of computer like 10, 20 or 50 computer, it is very hard to manage passwords for the users if they forget the passwords and if they have any kind of a problem related to the network it's very hard to manage for that and you by having a multiple administrator account it means like you don't have a control in your you don't have enough control on your computer there is no centralized system to control the computer every administrator and the user can control it by themselves so why active directory is required let's see active directory is a centralized database system of account shared by the member of the domain it allows the centralized control on users computer and groups etc Let's have a look on Active Directory users computers. Here you can see the Active Directory user and computer. This is the domain name, it's a techiejack.com. I have a organization unit by the name of sales user and you can see the user here. So all these users can be maintained uh, in a centralized way. Like if you have a sales user, you can put a sale user here. Like I have a two user here. You can just what we can do. You can create a user here. In this way, we can put the name and the password. So by doing this, uh, putting your all the sales users. Say example like sales one. You can uh, give a, a real name on uh, here. So uh, this is an organization unit. That means all the users inside this unit can be controlled by a group policy that's why the Active Directory means like you can uh, manage your user by the group policy and you can also manage your computer like if the computer are joined by the domain right now there is no you know, machine client machine is joined so if um, computers are joined you can just create a one more organization unit we will discuss uh, later we can create an organization unit and put uh, the bunch of computer inside it and we can put a policy on the computer uh, there are different kind of policy we will discuss them later on this is just an overview I have uh, shown you Let's move to our another slide. Key feature of Active Directory. Actually, Active Directory is based on DNS and LDAP and even on HTTP, etc. It's a multi-master based. It means the multi-master based means if you have a domain controller, you can create um, another domain controller and configure it as a global catalog with a dns server and active directory which means you are just deduplicating the server and it's a, it can be a like in a mode of a like multi-master 
domain controller and it's a policy based administrator is administration via group policy that means uh, most of your users in computer can be managed by group policy so uh, let's understand what is domain and forest this is the most important thing to understand forest trees and child domain here if you see a blue circle it's a forest how it become a forest let's see the triangle a black triangle here is a root domain that means a first domain controller in a domain environment is called a root DC which means when the first domain is created the five roles are created we will discuss the roles later on but the five roles are created which means like two roles are forest wide and three roles are domain wide okay and let's see what is the child domain if you see the name the root domain name is abc.com and the child domain name is sales.abc.com if you're creating a child domain which means uh, why why you require the child domain child domain is required because if you have a large structure and you want to do a kind of a load balancing and you want to give some load to a, another computer or another server so you have you can create a child domain uh, though the uh, large enterprise can have uh, multiple child domains and three domains but um, the way like we can configure uh, like we can balance our load by giving some additional load to our child domain and they can manage their own user and computers so when this forest this when this main domain is created that means a forest is created which means uh, if a single domain the first domain in a forest is created then a forest is created though it will not work as a like in a forest structure but the all the five roles are created we will discuss the roles later so when you create a child domain that means it's a parent child relationship between two domains and they have a trust between them and they have a transitive trust that means if the parent is trusting a child a child will trust the parent same way you can create multiple domains i have created here this is just an example like two domains like sales.abc.com and child domain finance.abc.com uh, I have put it like in the short form like fin.abc.com this is a child domain means they should have a name of a root domain like abc.com abc.com is our root domain and we are creating a child domain that it it's a, it will hold the name of a root dom root domain the child domain is sales.abc.com sales is not a computer name it's a like it's a domain domain name and another child domain i have created like finance you can take it as a finance.abc.com but uh, if you see the common thing is there abc.com and abc.com they are holding the name of their its parent like the root parent is abc.com okay so let's see uh, now what is a tree domain if we create a tree domain we can create a tree domain like by a different name like if you see here this is a service.com and here it's abc.com all the child domain are holding the name of a parent like uh, you can say abc.com but this domain is not holding a name of a parent uh, root domain it's uh, abc.com it's not holding a name of abc.com it is a service.com and uh, under the service.com I have created 
a new child domain for the service.com it's hr.service.com that means the hr.service.com is a child domain for this service.com and it will be a root domain for a child domains hr.service.com the parent domain will be service.com and if we have a domain and we have created a tree it's it is now a tree structure if we have created a different name like you, you can see we tree means you uh, tree means that the root domain and a tree domain can have a different namespace so we have created here like service.com and here our root domain is abc.com and i have created it I, I will show you it how to create it later on but let's see and how uh, first of all we understand that why how uh, it work like so a active directory can have a multiple kind of a domain like it's a child domain it's a tree domain tree domain means tree domain means you have a different namespace and under the tree domain name we can also create a child domain and what is the relationship between for this child domain if i see the child domain like finance.abc.com the parent domain is abc.com this is a root domain and this for a sales start sales dot abc.com is a parent domain is abc but a uh, tree domain like service.com the parent domain this this domain is a, itself a parent and hr.service.com is a child domain for the service.com and when we create a child domain and a, for, a tree domain it completes the forest that means now inside a blue circle we have a root domain we have a child domain and we have a tree domain so if we have a root domain child domain and a tree domain that completes a forest now it's a forest structure it's a complete forest and let's see if this second forest too we have a root domain like xyz.com and the child domain sales.xyz.com which means now you can make uh, like you can understand this is a different forest the forest and the forest two is a different forest I hope you get that let's jump to the next slide let's see uh, type of trust we have an active directory forest root domain and a parent domain root root domain is a parent domain and the trust between root and child is a parent child trust that means they will trust each other and in a forest in a single forest there is an automatic trust created by active directory see if forest 1 and forest 2 is there there will be no in the for between forest 1 and forest 2 there will be no automatic trust created but inside a forest like inside this forest like abc.com service.com hr.service.com finance.abc.com and sales.abc.com there is a automatic trust created inside the forest the child domain holding a name of a parent domain it it has a trust of parent and child trust it is a transitive trust like means the child will trust a parent and parent will trust a child and what does the trust means means uh, the user inside the user inside a child domain of sales.abc.com can log on to a root server abc.com a user of a abc.com a user of abc.com can log on to a child domain like finance.com and even they can also log on to a service.com or hr.service.com they can log in uh, vice versa if we create a trust between domain and a tree it's if we create a tree if we create a tree it's called parent tree trust parent tree trust and if we 
create uh, like if if this computer like if you see here this domain child um, uh, domain hr.services.com if this domain want to log on to uh, root domain abc.com uh, means if, if it has to go through like first in the parent domain and then it will go in this way like first of all it will go to its parent domain and then it will go to root domain and if we have a large structure if we have a la large structure of a domain that means a number of hops like if we want to uh, go to a number two domain and we are on a number eight domain if you want to log on to a number two domain and uh, it will it will count a hops like uh, it will reach in the way like one two three and it will be means a number of hops will be increased so so we can create a shortcut trust and that means if we create a trust between this finance.abc.com with uh, hr.service.com if we create a trust between these two child domains it will call a shortcut trust and if uh, we want to create a trust like if you uh, this uh, hr.service.com this domain want to make a trust from uh, another forest like the forest 2 here, here you can say sales.xyz.com this child domain want to make a trust means a trust means I uh, already uh, told you like uh, it's a trust like the user in a uh, one organization can log on to the another domain so uh, if uh, if we want to create a trust between this hr.service.com with this one xyz.com it will call external trust and if we want a complete forest to trust another forest like forest one want to trust a forest two that type of trust is called a forest trust so in the next video we will see how to create these kind of trust relationship and we will also see how to create a domain and active directory from scratch